Hello, hi guys. Always an excitement to be with you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. This is Hope Alive with Mary here to motivate, inspire, and encourage you. Never, ever, ever give up. Don't you give up. <laughs> it doesn't matter what's going on. Don't you give up. You know, um, in this video, I just want to speak a little bit about the benefits of pain, trials, difficulties, challenges. We all know what 2020 was. And um, 2020 was a year, an unprecedented year, a year no one alive had ever seen. Okay? It was, it was a terrible year. It will be... Um, uh, how do I put it? To deny the fact that the last year was a difficult year for everyone on earth. Difficult in the sense that with what was happening around. But again, in all that difficulty, we must agree that there are certain people that were exempted. There are certain people that it was their best year. In spite of all that was going around, in spite of all that we saw, in spite of what that happened. For some people, it started and ended strong. Okay? Though the whole world suffered, um, you know, a lot of downfall and challenges, okay? But I don't know how yours was. It might have been terrible. It might have been difficult. It might have been, you know, horrible. You might have, you know, received a, you know, uh, a terrible uh, backlash from what had happened last year. But what I need to say to you is this. There are several lessons at 2020 brought to us several things that we learned from 20. I personally learned, and we all should learn from 2020. Several. From the top of my head, I've been thinking about it. 2020 didn't just come and go. You know, in Hope Alive, we've been talking about there's, I know, and my book, By God's Grace, I know I've been saying it, but I know we are still working on it. There is gain in your pain. Don't waste it. There is gain. Whatever it is that you went through in 2020 or whatever 2020 represented in your life, your family, or in the whole world around us, even if you're not personally impacted, you know, in one way or the other, um, you know people who were impacted, you know, adversely. And um, no matter how well you did economically or whichever, but the lockdown still kind of, you know, brought a different change to you. Um, you couldn't go out the way you could, you should, or you would have normally done. Uh, worship had gone online. Some of us haven't seen um, people that we normally would have been seeing regularly for a very long time. It's running up to a year now. By March 23rd, it would have been a year that I haven't set my eyes on some friends and uh, even family and uh, church members and what have you. I mean, we are social beings. So one way or the other, those things have a way of impacting us. Okay, something had to stop. My children, their sports had to stop, came back on, then stop again. And that's frustrating. I see the impact on them. They're not happy. They are usually active people. So, yeah, so one way or the other, we are impacted. Okay, but, you know, what I'm talking about today, it is the positive impact that 20... 20 brought to us however bad it was there was something good to learn from it and the number one thing that we all learned is that changes are eminent okay changes are eminent they come they happen and sometimes without warning sometimes without warning it can be sudden changes can happen suddenly suddenly nothing prepared the world I know the Western or the Europe, you know, uh, or America, or wherever, the Western world, they have known and very good in preparation. They project, they prepare ahead, they have already had their next 10, 20 years sorted out. And you see projects that are put in place, okay, by so, so, and so, you know, in 20 years' time, this should be in place and begin to progress towards it. There are people who usually are prepared, but this one, this one here, COVID, took everybody on our way. Nobody could have prepared for it. Nobody did. And even up to this moment, they are still in confusion. They are not sure. Even the vaccines that came out, they are not sure. Even the scientists have said, you know what, we exonerate ourselves. 
disclaimer, when Zonerator said anything happens as a result of taking this, you can't sue us. That's how so, so unsure they are. Nobody knows when he's going to stop. Nobody knows what she prevented. They keep dabbling and dabbling. Social distance, wash your hands, do this, that, that, that. Then tomorrow they backtracked on this. Then they said, do that. You know, it's been so much confusion. The economists don't know what to do. The doctors don't know what to do. No one knows what to do. So this here is a lesson to every one of us that life can change suddenly. And what comes to my mind is the suddenness we treat Christ we come. The Bible says he will come like a thief in the night. The way this came and swept the, through the whole world. Jesus will come and in the cloud and he will come suddenly when nobody was ready. When nobody was ready. Abruptly, when the shutdown happened, people, you know, when they left, left, left the office, they still had their, you know, coffee mug sitting on the table. They still, it was like, okay, I'm coming back tomorrow. And then that was it. Even this current lockdown that we are in, it was just the night before it was announced. From tomorrow, that's it. And people are like, oh, okay. So Christ will come suddenly. He will come suddenly when no one is prepared. No one, no one knows. So what did the Bible say to us? He said, be ready, be ready, because no one knows they are. 2020, 2020 was a time that showed us. It was a rehearsal of how things can suddenly change in your life and my life. Preparation is always the key. A man that hears the word of God, I can't, I, you know, if you listen to my videos, you know, I'm always making reference to that passage in the Bible, Matthew, 20, Matthew 7. The man who builds on the rock and the one who builds on the sand. The one who hears the word and does it is the one that builds on the rock. And because his house is on the rock, storm came. And that storm hit on both the one on the rock and on the sand. We saw it in 2020. The rock, there was nobody that on the world to say, okay, I personally didn't, you know, see what was happening. Everyone was hit, but some people had a great fall while some others were standing and they stood through. When 2020 was running now, my people were like, oh, okay, 2020 be gone, 2021, we can't wait, we can't wait, we can't wait for 2020 to be gone. As though, once the calendar flipped to 2021, everything's just going to automatically disappear. And like one thing I was saying then in my spirit, I was sensing in my spirit and I kept saying it, was the fact that nobody knows what 2021 was going to be. It was the same thing the Holy Spirit was laying in my heart in 2019. Go and listen to my past videos. Nobody knows. And truly, we enter 2021 and things got worse. And it is getting worse. What does that say to you and I? Have your roots in Christ. That's the only sure foundation. That's the only sure thing. Have your roots in Christ. Get to know God more for yourself. They that know their God will be strong and they shall do exploit. It's not those who hear about God, who, is, who know about God. It is those who know Him. Pursue the knowledge of God. Set your mind on that one thing that Mary chose over matter. And get to know God. That is, hear God's word. Obey God's word and you'll be fine 2021. I did a video to say the secret of um, a successful a great 2021. I can't remember what it, how I titled it, but that is still there on the on YouTube channel. Nobody knows. And I'm still saying it. Nobody knows. We don't know. We don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Nobody. Except those that the Holy Spirit had opened their eyes to see what 2021 owns. Please, my counsel to you again return. Another thing, another lesson from 2021 is the fact that your pain, your pain, a lot of it's about what you, your pain does not come to kill you. Or destroy you or finish you. It is what you do, your action or reaction while you are in pain that makes the difference. Some people, lockdown came and they threw their hands up and said, that's the end. It's not my fault. This is it. This has happened. There's nothing else I can do. But some other people took advantage of what happened with COVID. Some others quickly adjusted. Some others made a huge breakthrough, a bounce back, a, 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 um, a recovery, even in 2020 because of their ability to, to, to reflect on the situation and make the best decision while they are on it. So many people, inventors, have to make changes. So many businesses have to make changes. What changes are you making in your life, in your pain? Are you throwing your hands up and just going to bed and saying, you know what, this is it. 
this is it. I didn't have any, you know, it's, I, I didn't cost it, so it's not my fault. And see what did they do? What choices are you making? 2020 helped people. Do you know people saw a lot of people have heard and heard here people. And even some of them are not Christians. A lot of Christian, non-Christian businesses that are thriving, have thrived, that took off because they made changes. They allowed the pain to squeeze out the best in them. They became more creative. They began to think. They began to went into into it withdrew into their their secret place and began to bring up ideas and they've come up with ideas that are so sellable that is making you know that has caused them to thrive even in it your pain did not come to kill you your pain did not come to 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 stagnate you i don't know what it is you have gone through or what you are going through right now but your attitude in it there's a video i have your attitude in your pain the right attitude, the right pers perspective will always bring you out better. You will find out that that thing that came to crush you actually is what will elevate you. That thing that came to finish you, that came that came to finish your business or finish or whatever, whatever if it's COVID or whatever issue it is that you might, uh, might be going through personally. If you allow God, you will find, discover your purpose in it. You will discover the blessing that lies in it because there is gain in every pain there is gain in covid there is believe you me there are people who are profiting from covid there are people covid was the best thing that had happened to them there are businesses that individuals that covid is the best thing that have happened to them do you know one good thing covid did again business i mean families had reconciled have reconnected the lockdown had brought homes closer together Men that will hardly have time for their families because they are chasing businesses or only God knows what else they chase out there. They've got to have time for their family. Even mothers that were all over the place before, now they have time for their family. Now they have, there is a bonding that is going on. There is, there is um, uh, 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 relationships are being healed. So there are good things that 2020 had and brought to the table for us. And you know, another thing, number four, good thing that happened with COVID. For those who actually... He made use of it. They got closer with God. People got closer with God. People knew God more. I was speaking to a colleague at work yesterday, and she said in this that was it was 2020 that she got serious with God. That it was 2020 with all that was happening, and she felt that, oh my goodness, if this was the end of the world. Oh my goodness, what do I do? She got closer. She said she was going to a church where it was mostly motivational church, all this hyping church and everything, and she felt good. She had to change church over the lockdown. The church she goes to now that she's been going to since last year, she's never been there physically. She just joined them online. Okay, she became a member and then she's been following. She said the preacher preaches the truth that brings conviction each time she listens to him. And it was because of COVID. <laughs> so souls, you know, there was the statistics from the beginning of the lockdown that even from they done with churches and ever they said they got more calls from people who we have never in their life put a feet in church. People were calling in for prayers. People were seeking counseling. People were turning to God. COVID did the great thing. What am I saying to you today? Well, 2020 was not all bad. There were a lot of good things that came out of 2020. Inventions came out. People went back thinking. People went back doing things. People find solace and comfort in God. So a lot, there are a lot of good things that happened with 2020. People became reflective. People begin to value life. People begin to be appreciative of every single day they've got. People begin to know that they are here only by the mercy of God. I begin to think about purpose and destiny. I hope that is you. And if it hasn't been you, I want you to go but think back. I want you to make 2021 a difference. To so say this year, I am determined, it's going to be one of my best years ever. In spite of what is all happening around, there is a place for me. There's something good that will happen. Whatever challenges you're going through, is a health challenge, is a family issues, is it whatever, even if it's all related with COVID, to COVID, still there's something good in it. Allow God to build faith in you through it. Allow God to build patience in you through it. Allow God to build resilience in you through it. Allow God to grow your character through it. Allow God to grow purpose through it because it is through pain a lot of people's purposes were discovered, just like me. So I want to stop here today just to encourage you to say as we move forward in 2021, we must start with God. We must continue with God and we must end with God and have a, a positive mind to say, I don't care how, even if the clouds fall. 2021 is going to be a different year. So God bless you as I encourage you never to give up hope. 
keep your hopes strong and alive. Yes, I'm pack packed in the parking lot of a um, shop. I'll be going in to do a bit of shopping now. I'll catch up with you later. All right, bye.